Awesome. Okay, so we are recording. Today is going to probably be a little bit shorter than our Monday calls typically are, um, but we're going to roll with it because I'm actually really wanted to talk about this in general and then just with everything going on right now, I feel like it is the perfect time to kind of have this talk with you guys. And so as I titled this, it's, um, it's all a matter of perspective. And guys, let me tell you, the difference between whether you are successful or not is perspective. It's how you view life. Let me tell you guys, life is always going to be happening. Whether it's something crazy like the virus, maybe it's your baby has a cold, maybe it's a death in the family, maybe it's a bounce check or your husband loses his job, but life is always going to happen and that's not going to change. That is never going to change. If you're pushing for promotion, know that life is gonna happen the month you're going for promotion because it always does. Life is always happening around us. The difference between who is successful and who is not is what outlook you take on that. You either can choose that life is happening to me or that life is happening for me. Those are your options. Are we going to show up and let life happen around us and it shut us down because crazy things are going on? Or are we going to believe that God has a bigger purpose and that what's going around us is really working for us? And that's going to be the different, biggest difference with those who are successful and those who aren't. You have to accept the things that you cannot control. There's so much going on right now that we cannot control. You can't control the virus. You cannot control if your town is quarantined. You can't control if you can go to the store and get toilet paper. Can I get an amen? We can't control these things. We can't control if our nine to five is canceled. We can't control if our kids have school. We can't control who's gonna buy our product and we cannot control who's going to join our team. But we have to stop facing those or focusing on those things because those things are gonna keep you stuck and afraid. And in this idea of, well, what if? What if this happens? What if this happens? And I don't know if I can still have a successful business. Well, guys, you can't change those things. There's nothing you can do that is going to affect anything on that list. So what are you doing by focusing on it other than shooting yourself in the foot and like hurting your business today, where it is now? We've got to switch our focus to things that we can control, the things that we can influence, things like how you're staying healthy. Are you eating fruits and veggies right now? Are you working out at home if your gym is closed? What are you doing to make sure you are as healthy as possible? Are you, how, are you controlling, we can control um, how we offer people a way to work from home. Okay, if you guys are not like so excited for the next two weeks, three weeks, however long this crazy quarantine business goes, of how many new distributors you're gonna sign, that's exciting. Because I know I've got girls freaking out on my Facebook, I'm not going to work. How am I going to pay my bills? I'm going to tell you how you're going to pay your bills. Because while your job failed you, we're here to still provide that income. One of the girls on my team, we were talking before, earlier, and her work is canceled and her school classes are canceled. And she is so thankful she's got this business. And you know what she's focused on? Is not the fact that she's out of work. Is not the fact that she's dealing with her kid at home is the fact that she knows the opportunity she has, and now she gets to share that with even more people. We can focus on, we can control how many people we talk to every single day. You can control how many host to posts you get up every single day. You can control your attitude, your mindset, and your outlook on the situation. Those are the things that you have to be focusing on. Those are the things that deserve your energy because those are the only things that you can influence. The things that can actually be affected by the efforts you put in and what you think about it. Guys, you can still promote even in a state of crisis, even when crazy things are happening, even when your family's sick, even when outside of just this month and the world and all of this jazz, but you can promote regardless of the situations around you if you still decide to do it. How many of you guys have heard of Grant Cardone? Okay, like all of us, right? He's a fantastic writer, so motivational. You know when the housing market crashed and everyone lost their jobs and couldn't do all of this? He was selling books. He was making millions selling books to people who could not afford their home because he saw something he could control. He was focused on the right things. 
There is nothing different here with you. There's no reason you cannot get a $15,000 bonus this month. I don't care if today is your first day. Hello, welcome. You can go get a $15,000 bonus this month, okay? But you've got to decide that that is what you are doing and that you are doing that regardless of what the world looks like around you, what your house looks like and your family looks like around you, that you are showing up anyway. There's people who promoted the same month that they had a miscarriage. The same month they lost one of the most important people in their lives. People have still promoted. Their business has still grown. It is a decision. That is all. It is just a decision. Like I said, we're probably gonna be a little bit quicker tonight. I'm thinking like 15 minutes was my plan, but now I'm thinking I'll actually go longer than that. We'll see. Um, okay, so I want you guys to drop a one in the comments if you had your schooling, if you're in college, if your kid's school or if your work is closed. If you were dealing with all, okay, wow. There's a lot of you, that jumped quick. Okay, all right. So all these people, okay, we've all been affected by this crazy quarantine craziness. Um, let me just tell you, you now have no excuses, okay? Because how many of you have the excuse of, well, I work, so like, I can't be on my phone all day and I'm tired. Well, so that's honey boo, you ain't gotta work now. You get to focus. Well, I've got to take the kids here and they got this. Cool, they're home and they're going to love the time where they get to go watch TV and play video games while mama works. Okay, well, I also, I work, I have school, like it takes, no. You have two weeks. A lot of you guys have at least two weeks that you are now solely committed to your business. Solely committed. Okay, so let's go back to the very first idea. Is life happening to you or happening for you? You know what? Maybe you weren't in the right headspace. Maybe you couldn't manage your job, your kids, you're taking them to school, uh, going to school and working your business. And God's like, here, I'm going to take away your distractions. It's your time to shine. How are you looking at this? Are you feeling like you are missing out? You are at a deficit and you're now not working. Are you so grateful for now all the free time you have to go promote? And guys, let me tell you, if you are not a stay at home mom, a stay at home person, I'm not a mom, but I still stay home. So we fit in there somewhere. If you are not used to being at home, heed my warning. You have got to put together a schedule tonight. If you are home, all of a sudden, you are not going to work effectively. You are not going to get all the things done that you could if you just decide to show up tomorrow and start working. You have got to be on it because you are used to it. You are used to a structure. You are used to your schedule at work, at school, whatever you guys are facing with. And you've got to be crystal clear on what you are doing every single day. Write it down. Otherwise, in 14 days, you're going to turn around and be like, dang, did I do anything? Did I really use my time? I feel that, guys. There's so many days. I literally, I stay home, I clean, and I work. That's it. And there's so many days I go to bed, and I'm like, did I actually do anything today? Like, did I actually accomplish anything today? Now, I'm telling you, you write down a schedule. You have something to hold yourself accountable to. You are going to get so much more done. So that is the first and fourth, first most important thing. If you are not used to having this much time, make yourself a schedule. And guys, be excited about it. Be excited you have this time. Don't dread the time with your kids. Make it fun. Your kids can help you work your business. There are ways to incorporate them. You know, I'm, mom's gonna host a post for 10 minutes, okay? If I get five up, we will have a dance party. Okay, do you want to know who's now your biggest cheerleader? That little five-year-old who's so excited to dance when mommy gets her post up. Mom, you got him up yet? You got your post? Oh, you need to go get more posts so we can have a dance party. You just created a whole new system to keep you fired up by offering to dance, which is then also going to keep your kids entertained, all right? That's a win-win there. Our significant others, guys, your significant other is home. I know we want them to go back to work. They're driving you nuts, but we're going to get them involved. They can work your business too. I post about the, I never message people who comment on my host of post giveaways because I have a husband to do that. He's home from work. I'm like, here, I put up a post. I'll log into his iPad. I'm like, you go message these people. Here's what to say. Now while he's doing that, I'm doing my follow-ups. I'm doing one-on-ones with my team. I'm filling out my chart. I'm writing posts, whatever that is. You can incorporate them. Get excited about this opportunity. You have an opportunity to work from home, 
with your family. You have an opportunity to be all in. How many of you guys want to one day work this full time? Well, here's a test run to see if you actually like that. One of my friends in the business, Bailey, she was so excited to work full time. And then she did this full time. It was like, oh no, this is not for me. And so she works now a job because she wanted that in her life. Here you go. It's a test run. How are you looking at it? Did you hop on here wondering like, how am I going to make this work? Like the world's falling apart. No one's going to buy my products. Like my kids are home. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. If that's who you are and that's where you're at, when we hop off, just go re-listen to this, okay? Because if you're stuck in that mindset, you are not going to promote. Your business is not going to grow, okay? You are, our business is an escalator. You're either on the up escalator or you're on the down. You are never on the platform standing still. So you've got to decide, is your business growing in light of chaos or is your business declining? I know I keep saying the word decide, it's so crazy and it's so annoying because you hear it from everyone. There's no magic tips to we like weather a storm, to promote, to do any of this other than to make a decision to make it happen. You've got to decide what you're focusing on. You've got to decide what work you're putting in. Because we have 14 days. 14 days. Try to tell me your goal is too far. Y'all, I've seen someone bring in 15,000 in volume in a single day. You have 14 uninterrupted days. You don't even got to go to work. 14 days to grow your business. Every single one of you on here, all 50 of you, can get that $15,000 bonus and beyond in these 15 days, 14 days, whatever it is, if you buckle down and do it. You can control showing up. There's so many amazing power hours, Zooms, family calls, show me the money calls. There are so many things for you. Show up. Show up to your business. If you've got to find a bathroom and that be your office for the next two weeks, show up to a place for your business. You can post a post your booty off. Guys, so many of our teams out here, we do cash giveaways. People need that right now. With not having work, with doing, spending a million dollars on toilet paper, like they need the cash giveaway. So you know what you should be blowing up? Your host to post. You know what worst case scenario? You blow up your host to post, you get a butt ton up because everyone wants in this giveaway and not a single person buys. Y'all, <laughs> your next month is about to be lit. <laughs> you planted so many dang seeds and is that that bad? Is it that awful, right? So you should all be, there is no excuse. This month, you should have more host to post up than any other month. You're at home, you're not doing anything else. You can host a post in the bathtub, you can host a post with TV on, everyone needs the money. You should be host to posting your booty off. That's something you can control. You should be talking to more people than ever. Because you know what? We don't know how this is going to go. We don't know if people are going to be super still engaged in buying. I know typically this is a boom season. It may not be right now. But you can control how many people you talk to. Maybe it typically takes you five people to sign a customer. Now it takes you 20 to sign a customer. That does not mean you sign less customers. That means you talk to more people. What are you looking at? Which are you focusing on? We can control how much and what we are saying about this business. Y'all, if you do not sign your three distributors, if you already signed them, we're going to double our steps this month and sign three more in the next 14 days because you've got so many people at home wondering what they are going to do how they are going to pay their bills. And you get to come along and be like, look, give me 14 days, okay? I'm gonna give you a check on the 15th. Plus with our amazing sampling program, you can have people making money tomorrow. Tomorrow, to go buy that toilet paper, to go pay that light bill, to go pay their rent, whatever it is that they are working on, they're stressed about right now. Tomorrow, they can be selling samples to make that money. We should be going live. We should be making posts, posting in our stories. And you know what? Your story may be kind of boring. I know when I'm at home, I feel like my stories are so dull. But you know what? Be real. You should be posting in your story. You working on the couch. You are working in bed. You working in the bathtub. Even if you do it all in one day. But just showing people that while they're at home stressed, you're at home still thriving still making money, still getting closer to your dreams. And that's going to create so much FOMO. 
not even the fun kind, but the kind of like, dang, she's going to pay her light bill and I don't know how I'm going to. We want to be transparent. We want to be loud. We have an opportunity right now to make a difference. And this is so important. I talk about it all the time when I'm talking about distributors. I'm not going to go too far into talking about distributors, but you have got to remember that you are never filling a chart. You are not talking to people because I want to go diamond and I need X amount of distributors. No, every person you talk to, you have the power to completely change their life. Completely change their life. You don't know who's about to get a divorce because of financial struggles and that you are the single person that would save their marriage. Do you know how many people commit suicide because they are so financially in debt, they feel like there's nothing more they can do for them? And you could be the single person to save their life by giving them this opportunity. I know it seems extravagant and crazy and all of that, but you never know. It could be smaller. You could have a single mom who cries herself to sleep every night and you're the person who gives her hope again. You could have a college student drowning in debt, not knowing how they're going to do this and then have to go get a job in the real world afterwards. And you can come in and teach them that there is a better way, that there is more. You can be that single person. And right now, there are so many people who need us. There are so many people who are put in such a bind with this crazy quarantine craziness that they need us. They need what we have to offer. And so when you're posting, when you're going live, go live with the mindset and the idea that you have something to change their lives. Have you guys ever listened to top leaders speak or your leaders speak? of how their life has been impacted, how your life has been impacted. If you're new and you don't have a story, guys, there are so many stories out there. So this business is a miracle worker in so many lives. Take advantage of it. Be that voice because you're going to be able to reach people now that you could not reach last Wednesday. Last Wednesday, they were loving their life, working their job, making ends meet and not dreaming bigger. Now they need us. So instead of having the mindset of, oh my gosh, no one's going to pay $69, $99 to get started on a business, they can't even pay their rent. Have the mindset of, oh my gosh, girl, I'm going to change everything for you. We're going to start making money tomorrow. I've got you. We're doing this together. I'm going to change it for you. And then go and talk to absolutely everyone about the business. You also can control your approach. And this is going to go outside of this. I was talking to some of my girls earlier today. I am having Facebook and me are not on the same team right now. And I am not allowed to send friend requests or message anyone I'm not friends, friends with. So like, what's going on here? We're going on almost two weeks now where I've not been able to do either of these. And it was so easy when it started to sit down. If you guys know me, you know I run my entire business through host to post Well... <laughs> How do you host a post when you can't talk to people you're not friends with nor add friends? So it was so easy the first few days to sit there and I just stopped host to posting. I was like, well, it's not working. And then I stopped signing the customers the same way. And it was so easy to sit there. But guys, it's just the same as large scale, something small. You got to get creative. You got to figure out a new way and don't overthink it. Sometimes the fix is the simplest thing. I just changed my words. Instead of having people comment, I have them send me a friend request and the comment done. Look, my phone is blowing up with friend requests who aren't even commenting, so I don't know where they're coming from, but it's cool because things are happening just because I got a little creative, okay? So maybe you got to get a little creative. Maybe you only sell beauty products. Maybe you only sell Thermofide X. Maybe now you're going to get creative and you're going to start selling greens. You're going to start selling um, immunity. Maybe that's what's going to go on. That's the kind of things. Or we're still going to sling our coffee because now <laughs> these kids are home and you need my coffee to survive the day without murdering them. We're going to throw coffee in there too. Like, honey, you need it. It's okay. But we're taking a different approach. We're not stopping our business. We're not stepping back. We're getting even more aggressive and we're just coming at it from a different angle. You can control that you're still growing your network and deleting friends. You can't host a post right now. You can't message. You're in jail. Whatever's going on with you. Okay, go delete you some friends. I tell my, you, you have a slow market. Your business posts or any posts are not blowing up. You need to remove 500 friends 
and it's a lot and it's very difficult and very boring to do but you need to go remove friends and bring new in fresh fresh fish junk first new people are going to interact way quicker than people you already have in your audience so you need something to do things are stressful your kids are getting on your nerves go delete friends you can do that while sitting and talking to them it's fine okay we can control that we, how we are interacting there are so many people active on facebook right now and i do want to address this and of course you do you but i think we are a different level when it comes to social media because we are not on social media to just be social we are there as a presence for our business okay and so i do want you guys to keep in mind the fact that you are running a business and there are so many people out there freaking out freaking out about the virus freaking out about the toilet paper freaking out about all this they don't need us to freak out as well you are different you are running your business on social media you should not in like an aggressive like don't do things way but you should be representing yourself differently you should be still offering encouragement light happiness and not engaging in some of that negativity and kind of craziness that's going on in my opinion i don't do politics on my page either i think we leave all that for the birds but um you can't control how much we're interacting on there's so much out there and so many people got opinions so much is going on there's plenty of posts for you to go interact on okay so you should be interacting and maybe doing it more so than normal you can control how often you're posting you can control your personal development and what you're doing so those are the things that you should be focusing on not what's gonna may happen tomorrow but what you can do today guys you have 14 days 14 days not counting tonight tonight is a freebie whatever you get tonight is a bonus but you have 14 days to decide that life is happening for you not to you that everything that is going on is for your betterment, that God knows what he's doing, that he is still in control, that everything that is happening, big or small, right now is happening for you. You may not know how it's gonna work out, you may not know how this could ever be spent to something positive, but you've got to trust each day that life is not out to get you. Life is not this entity that is walking around waiting to smite you when you turn. It's there, it's working for you. Things are working for you. And guys, we have no excuses. We just removed all of them. You aren't working, you're not going to school, you're not having to run the kids around. You have no excuses. You have to decide that now is your time, that you are going out and you are promoting no matter what. If you guys wanna be a leader, if you have that in your heart, I know like I think everyone who has a distributor under them is a leader, but there's some of you who have a heart for leadership and that is a little different. I have a heart for leadership. I would tr drop my business like a hot tamale if that meant I could just go and talk to people, okay? I just love leadership. If you have a heart for leadership, think about the story you are creating. Think about that story of when you have a girl three years from now trying to go diamond, ruby, two months from now, who knows what? And they're like, dude, I don't know if I can do it. This is happening, that is happening. You can be like, look, I promoted during the coronavirus time. We, we got this. Ain't nothing gonna stop you. I did it then. You got this, okay? So we're using this. We are doing it anyway. We are showing up anyway. And guys, it's so important. I reference this all the time, but I think it was just, it was eye-opening for me. My favorite question I've ever been asked on a Zoom, I was asked how many messages I send a day, and I think this is so important right now, even more so, is that my answer is always the same. There is no set number. I do not send 100 messages a day. I send as many messages as I can. Today, that may look like 500 messages. Tomorrow, that may look like five messages. But I'm gonna do everything I can today for my business. And the truth of the matter is, we don't know what all is happening. We don't know who's gonna be quarantined and not allowed to leave their house. We don't know what is gonna to happen tomorrow, this afternoon. So we have to show up now. We have to show up today. And you have to work your business today like it's the last day of the month. Let me get a hallelujah if we want to stop promoting on the last freaking day of the month. Did you guys know that eSuite still updates if you promote on the 15th like it does on the 31st? I don't believe it. I think we should all go test it out. Let's just all go promote now.
If someone can bring in 15,000 in volume on the last day, why can you not bring in 2,000 in volume on the 17th and go ahead and get that bonus? Like, why do you gotta wait? Okay, show up. Stop pushing it off. Stop saying that you have more time. Stop saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it later. No, time is now. Your time is now. Not in 10 minutes, not in two weeks. Your time is right now. Promote now. Show up now. Stop waiting. Stop making those excuses. You want this. You really want this. You want that bonus. You want that prestige of that new rank. You want that financial freedom and all it's going to do for your family. Well, stop waiting and go out, do the freaking work and make it happen. There's no reason you can't do it. There's no reason. There's nothing fundamentally wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with your audience. You don't have the wrong scripts. You don't have the bad leadership. You have it all. You have what you need. You just have to stop getting in your own way and decide you're promoting anyway. You know what, coronavirus? Screw you. I'm promoting anyways. You know what? My kids are home. Screw it. I'm promoting anyways. You know what? My job, they didn't want me right now. That's fine. I don't need it because I'm promoting anyways. You are doing the work anyways. You are showing up anyways, and you are making a change for you and your family anyways, despite life, because life is always happening. You are never going to find a time where it's peaceful and rainbows and a unicorn comes up to your front door. It's not happening, okay? You've got to go out and make a name for yourself anyways, okay? That's all I got for you guys. I'm wrapping it up there. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. And I could yell all night, okay? But I love you guys. Thank you for all of you for hopping on. I know things are crazy. And I just want you guys to know I 100 million percent believe in you.